Hi guys, Jody here from Cornwall Car Care. Next up, we have a 2014 Volkswagen Transporter. So this is booked in for a single stage machine polish, ceramic coating, wheel coating, and possibly glass coating as well. Um, obviously I can't get that on the ramp. So this morning was its full wash decontamination outside and it's absolutely been pouring down all morning. So I didn't really get any footage of that at all, but if you've seen my videos, you would have seen lots of it before. So we're gonna coat the wheels tonight in the front part of the unit. I've got to do two, two at a time. Leave it in here overnight, let it all drip dry, so then I can come in first thing in the morning and start polishing. Uh, yeah, I will wait to do a walk round once it's in here. So get on with the wheels, get it in here, and probably catch back tomorrow. Um, I just want to crack on and get the wheels finished tonight. So yeah, so probably catch back tomorrow. Back in the studio. There's been a slight change of plan on the transporter. Um, although I tried my best on the wheels to get the insides as clean as I could for coatings, I don't think they're savable. So I had a quick phone call to the customer just to let him know that I don't think they're gonna be worth ceramic coating. And he's decided that he's gonna get them refurbished a little bit down the line. So just for the sake of it, I'm gonna ceramic coat the wheel faces just to make it a bit easier to wash while he gets those done. So yeah, so now the wheels are not being done. And again, this looked absolutely lovely outside. Have a look. Mm. So as I said, this is booked in for a single stage. But you can see some holograms all on that panel. Yeah, we'll see what we can do with a single stage. Obviously the deep, deep ones are gonna remain. There's nothing I can do with that. Yeah, what a lovely color. Seems to be some staining on that door. I don't know if that's overspray, but you can see the light. Yeah, so hopefully we can clear that up. Yeah, we've got some deeper marks. Just see that deep one there on the light so yeah we'll see if we can dull that down a bit a lot of deep ones just there as well See that in the handle. And we'll try and tackle those. Yeah, shame about the wheels, but I'm not gonna do them if I don't think it's worth doing. So uh, once they've been refurbished, we'll get it back in and we'll do the wheels. A few deep ones on that one. Actually, there's quite a lot of deep ones up on this edge. That's the back like. Yeah, it's a bit of staining on the back as well. 
lots of finger marks where it's closed. Yeah, so we shall see what we can do with this one. I mean, it's going to be a lovely turnaround anyway. Uh, even if, even though it's not going to be perfect, it's still going to be a big, big turnaround. So, now that we're not doing the wheels, we're going to get everything taped up tonight. Um, I might do my test panels tonight and then I'll come in early in the morning and make a good start on the polishing. So at least I'm, I'm going to know tonight what combination I'm going to use. Um, yeah, so we'll catch back. What day is it today? Is it Monday? Yes, it's Monday. It's Bank Holiday Monday. Um, so we'll catch back Tuesday morning. Well, it's that time of the detail. All the polishing is complete. Before I went home last night, I did a Spice Hecker wipe down, and that's a strong panel wipe to remove any polishing oils. Um, when you're doing a coating like this, you need that extra step. Um, even Geon Prep is not enough for that. So a Spice Hecker wipe down, and then I've just been round and done its Gion Prep final wipe. So this one is having Gion Infinite Type 2. Uh, this gives me a little bit of a longer work time than Type 1. There's a lot of surface area on this, so this is ideal for big vehicles. Um, if I get time today, I'm also going to do Gion Infinite Top Coat Type 1. So. Yeah, we'll see how long this one takes and whether I've got enough time because this one's being picked up tomorrow night. Um, but yeah, this is looking oh, so good. And yeah, we'll come back afterwards. Sorry, it's been a crazy morning today. I've been doing maintenance washes. I've had to go out. I'm getting all my new t-shirts, hoodies, hats, all of them done. So yeah, headphones on, mask on counting on
Volkswagen Transporter completed. What another mega turnaround on this one. I'll try and put a picture up here of some of the swells and scratches that were on it. It was quite bad. It really was, especially this back. You'll see on the walk around video, what a difference this service has made to this vehicle. Um, dual stage enhancement, Gion, yes. Infinite type two for the uh, ceramic coating. We were gonna do the wheels, I might have mentioned this earlier on. They're just not good enough to warrant a ceramic coating. Um, so as soon as I found that out, I spoke to the customer and he said, yep, yeah, leave that. We'll get them powder coated down the line and then it will come back in to have the wheel ceramic coated. But yeah, Gion, yes! Infinite type two for the paintwork. Uh, Gion trim for all the trim work. Gion quick view for the glass and Gion tire, obviously for the tire. And I did put a layer of Gion cure on the wheels just to make them look a bit better. So, oh my word, oh my word. I mean, it's not even the same van. Yeah, so this, this was more work than I thought it was. Um, a lot of polishing. A few late nights, a lot of polishing. But yeah, look at the result on this though. <laughs> oh, yay, 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 yay. I'm really <laughs> struggling to... The things to say. It's absolutely ridiculous, the difference in that. Wow, um, as I said, I don't know how long this video is gonna be. Um, I tried to capture as much as I could, but even this morning I had a maintenance valet. I had to pop out to Nuki, um, getting all my merch sorted. So yeah, old logo, that's all going. New stuff is coming. Um, yeah, but oh, just, look at that. Right, Volkswagen Transporter completed. Let's roll some afters. <laughs>